Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your uh, weekly singles love reading for Cancer. How are you guys? Hope all's well. Cancer singles. So you can see I have the transformation and the lover's card here. So this is about what's transforming in your love life, endings, new beginnings, anything in between that you need to know. Ooh. Yeah, I do see change, change for the better, beautiful energy, the world. Nice. Yeah, I see Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, or just a person who's in that energy of analyzing a situation, analyzing change. It's an energy of growth, prosperity, abundance. So someone definitely very analytical. <laughs> There's no doubt. Yeah. I, I feel like this is someone who's, you know, this is someone who's not really ready to budge or give in. Someone is a little stuck here. Now, it could be someone protecting their money, but it's also someone who could be a little stubborn. But this is someone who's doing some thinking, maybe analyzing self. <laughs> yeah, whoever they are, they're in their head. They're trying to be logical. Yeah, see, this is someone here who's kind of in a stuck energy. It has to do with some sort of choice, I feel, whether to move on or stay in this stuck position. It's about taking lessons learned from the past, knowing when to avoid a disaster. So definitely looks as though someone is ready for change. Yeah, we have the Empress. Wow. This is the birth of something new. Someone needs a little more time to get to know someone, but I do feel someone here has been kind of stuck. Maybe even being a little bit stubborn, but it's also a protective mechanism. It's a person just analyzing, strategizing. Yeah, I feel we have a person here who's moving on, moving away from someone, maybe cutting someone out, moving towards someone new. Beautiful energy, the birth of something new, lovely. Yeah, the Empress. Very well could be yourself in that energy. Yeah, so someone thinking things through, becoming decisive. They're choosing their battles, choosing their words. <laughs> it's going to have to do with moving and relocating too. Yeah, but it has to do with this opportunity, Ace of Pentacles. Wow. This is a, I mean, this is somebody here who's thinking it through. This is also someone who knows they need to think it through. They may need to take a little more time. They might change their mind. So, but this is someone who I feel doesn't want someone to get away. This is the thing. So, yeah, they could be cutting someone out, but they're definitely ready for change. Yeah, this is someone in that social circle. I see a connection, somebody asking someone out. They're coming in right. This is someone coming in right. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah. So this is definitely an energy of trust. A little bit of trust issues here. No, I do feel here for the feminine energy. It's an energy of letting somebody know that you're open. Okay, very balanced. The Empress is a beautiful energy. This is someone very balanced kind and compassionate considerate someone who's learned the lessons of all the queens so this is someone in somebody in your social circle but i do see the energy of five of swords trust now it could be communication somebody sending mixed messages the best thing to do when you're communicating is to just speak up to speak truth okay just be yourself kind of energy because it's what you put out there is what comes back to you. So, yeah, and I do, like I say, trust issues, but it really looks more like communication, mixed messages, mixed signals. If someone is and you want to know, yeah, maybe it'll have to do with someone's confidence. This is an interesting energy with the King of Swords. Let's just see who this is. So someone at a crossroads in their life, they're making a life path choice decision. So this is someone who's kind of been in stuck energy. They're not quite ready to move. They could be watching from a distance, just kind of holding back. It's often a person who keeps things to themselves. Okay, they're kind of keeping things to themselves. And that could even be yourself here. Because we know cancer, you have a you can be someone who can keep a lot of things to yourself. Okay, so that's why I feel no mixed messages. Okay. No mind games, nothing like that. Because I do feel there's somebody who has trust issues. So just say what you need to say. Because what you put out there is what comes back to you. Yeah, I, I do feel there's an energy of some sort of change. Maybe you're seeing someone has changed or you think they're changing their mind. They're holding back a little. You see? Taking things to the next level. It could have to do with moving in together or even just um, something to do with relocating. 
Yeah, so it has to do with faith. So I do see it. There's that Taurus. I kind of figured it might be. <laughs> this is the, someone's morals and values, taking things to the next level, making sure you're on the same page. I feel it's mixed messages. Someone's sending mixed messages. Or maybe they feel that way about you. What you put out there comes back. So yeah, this is someone tempering their passions, their emotions. So it's definitely an energy of someone who's very tempted to take things to the next level. But I feel this is also an energy of someone who's, after a little period of time, they pop, pull back and they're seeing things differently. Okay. Now, they could be someone who's a little different than your usual type. It's often someone who expresses themselves differently. But I feel how you express yourself right now is really important to just say things straight up. Mixed me if there's mixed messages from you, okay, or maybe it's them, this is where the trust issues will start. So it's about trusting, being open, okay? Yeah, I feel there's good news here because I do see this person taking off that pentacle, offering you this, taking you out, asking you out, introducing to friends and family, vice versa. Yeah, I, I, I definitely feel a Taurus energy, but it has to do with change. You know, I don't know whether it's yourself, they feel like you're changing your mind or you are, because I do see mixed messages. Yeah, it has to do with someone speaking the truth. It's an energy of seeing the truth. Yeah, this could be successful. It's an energy of just being on the same page. It has to do with committing, committing to the path. Are they committed or are they going to change their mind? This is someone who kind of knows themselves. They're doing a lot of thinking and analyzing about taking this to the next level. It has to do with feeling confident. They may feel something's a little off where you're keeping things to yourself, but it can go the other way. Yeah. Taking off the pentacle, <laughs> cooperation, compromise, compatibility. Yeah. See, it's what you put out there is what comes back to you. See, emotional fulfillment, see in the bigger picture. So I feel like the feminine is going to get this. But this person, too, they see the bigger picture. I, I feel this is someone here who is thinking of taking it to the next level. But like I say, they are someone who has a tendency to overanalyze. <laughs> Yeah, it has to do with having faith in the path they're on. Morals and values, making sure you're on the same page. So I feel there's an energy of just be getting on that same page. So Knight of Swords, whoever it is you're dealing with, it could be just somebody coming towards you, approaching you too. I say they could be like pulling back, checking you out, just not ready, watching from a distance, not ready to approach. So this could be yourself. Make sure you send whatever signal you're sending this person it it's that happiness it's an energy of being open putting all the cups on the table because i do see um, something about that here i can see the energy where someone is kind of you know they're very tempted and i some of you it's just a person about approaching it has to do with having faith in the path making a choice this is a person who needs to feel confident <laughs> before they approach someone so yeah, I, I, I feel it's really a lot to do with um, communication, mix, somebody sending mixed signals. It definitely could be someone who has trust issues because of something that's happened before. Maybe somebody wasn't faithful to them. Okay, but I feel it's just faith in making the right choice. Yeah, there it is. We got Mercury retrograde energy coming in, so everybody heads up there. Yeah, I'm seeing it a lot, I can, and I can feel the energies too. So. I feel as though it's somebody thinking things through, choosing their battles. See, it's an energy of communicating. See, not being sending mixed messages. Um, no manipulation. <laughs> yeah, one of you is feeling something's a little off here. I, I feel it's a person who's in protective mode. I do feel this is someone who uh, is keeping things close to their chest and watching from a distance. They want to approach. So, yeah, they need to just have faith in making the right decision. That's what it is. And I do think they do. They've made the right choice. Yeah. Whoops. Yeah, so there it is. See, mixed messages. Someone who acts like they're interested one minute, maybe not the next. Could be the Empress doing it, you know. Yeah, but it could be this person. I do see a Taurus. You know, they're kind of focused a lot on their money. But this is often a person. They want to offer this pentacle. But it's about 
um, coming in right, saying the right things. It's about someone putting their best foot forward, approaching this. Maybe you're a little unapproachable or they want to talk to you. It's possible it's them who wants to talk to you about mixed messages, uh, trust issues. Maybe there's other people involved. You know, it's about choosing the one. So this person could have a choice between two or they feel that you do. Yeah, but it's about choosing the right person. Let's have a look at the Five of Swords. Yeah, there's definitely trust issues. It's about investing. See, hoping this pays off. Investing in the truth. Yeah, I feel this is someone here. It could have to do with if you are already seeing someone, it has to do with being confident, having faith in the decision they made, the path that they're going down. Because definitely it's someone who's been kind of stuck. I don't know, maybe they're a little stubborn or you feel something's a little off. The feminine could be feeling something's off, but they could feel that way with the, the Empress. So let's have a look at this truth. Yeah, see, somebody wants to know the truth if someone's involved with someone else, because this is someone who will move on to avoid a disaster. So it could be traveling. Maybe somebody's going to visit someone. Okay, could be someone at a distance. Maybe you met this person in one community, so maybe it's an energy. I definitely can see the energy of those you already see in someone. The next level is moving in together or someone needing to relocate to another community. Yeah, it's about choosing the one. But I do feel someone sending mixed messages. Maybe that's what's going on. It's moving, relocating, or someone coming to visit. Mixed messages. Someone who acts detached. But yet there's that opportunity. Yeah, this is a person who doesn't want to make the same mistakes of the past. This is someone in their head. They're overthinking, overanalyzing the situation. They're kind of detaching a little bit. Yeah, mixed messages. Yeah, so it is about avoiding a disaster. And I do feel it has to do with moving and relocating or moving in together. Take This is someone who probably needs a little bit more time. Yeah, this is someone pinned down by their thoughts. They're trapped in their head. Yeah, it's an energy of someone who's kind of detaching. Let's have a look at the Ace of Rods. Yeah, there it is. Opportunity, fresh new start and opportunity. So someone who may have another opportunity. If you feel somebody here sending mixed messages or they're detaching or you're having trust issues, just ask for the truth. Straight up is the best way to deal with it. Okay? If you feel someone's playing mind games or manipulating, yeah, it's an energy of manifesting. It's somebody gathering all the tools, all the information, everything they need to know. See? Yeah. But it has to do with the birth of something new. Someone putting all their cups on the table. It's an energy of a person seeing the bigger picture. This is a, you've got a person in their head here. They can't stop thinking. So I don't know if it has to do with someone coming to visit. or, um, But it's definitely a person who's a little detached. It's like they communicate in a way where it's not clear. So, yeah, let's have a look at this. Something to do with the timing. Yeah, it's definitely been... Um, heartache, third party situation. Someone has trust issues and I do feel an energy of someone sending mixed messages, mixed signals. Okay, for the feminine here. Stephanie, I see him Taurus, Sagittarius. Tell me about the temperance card. Clarity on temperance, please, for cancer. Yeah, so someone being cautious, being careful what they wish for. You see? Yeah. Someone's being a little careful. They're tempted. I don't know if it, there was a question about moving in, relocating, or committing to this path. But they are doing a lot of analyzing, a lot of thinking. If you feel something is off that they're manipulating, it's possible. Okay, but they could feel that way about yourself as well, just because of the way the cards are laid out here. But... Yeah, it has to do with someone here, mixed messages. It's, um, like, I do feel it has to do with faith. Maybe somebody wasn't faithful or they feel like the other person isn't. There could be talk, gossip, things like that. I don't know if it's online dating, social media, but, yeah, it's definitely going to play out different for others, um, this energy. But it has to do with uh, friends and family, some kind of truth to do with moving and relocating. Someone may be telling someone that they're going to visit friends in another community. This person may be 
feeling there's some kind of manipulation. Now, if you are wanting someone to know that you're open, it's what you put out there, putting all the cups on the table, okay? So it's telling you feminine, just put those cups on the table. Don't be afraid to ask the truth. If someone is traveling, you're going to see family. If you feel they're detaching, see, it's an energy of someone detaching. But they're analyzing this. They can't stop thinking. Tell me about the Six of Swords. This is definitely a person who doesn't want to make the same mistakes in the past, yeah? Someone can't stop thinking about this opportunity and the change that it would be required, change of lifestyle, habit. Whether you get each other, whether you're on the same page. But yeah, I definitely feel someone is detaching. Uh, maybe it's yourself, uh, the feminine, because that is a Taurus energy also with the Empress. Maybe you're feeling a little detached. Maybe you went to visit someone. Maybe now you haven't. It looks like someone has another opportunity, an invitation. Uh, it's definitely a choice between two or just a life path choice. Is this the one or is there something off? See, something feels off. It's an energy of a person being very cautious, being very careful what they wish for. It has to do with someone who feels they're not getting something they want. They're not completely fulfilled. Yeah. Tell me more about the Empress energy. Yeah, see, this could be yourself here, the feminine, with some Taurus energy, Virgo or Capricorn. But it has to do with seeing the bigger picture. This is what the... Queen of Pentacles, the Empress does, grounds himself, sits down and looks into the future. Do you see yourself with this person? Because I do see third party. I feel they, they have trust issues. So if you told somebody straight up you were going to visit someone in another community, they may feel like they can't trust. But if you feel like you can't trust this person, you feel like they're manipulating. See, the manipulation energy, this magician is often an energy of murky retrograde. Someone here could be, you know, kind of thinking about something that happened before. But yeah, it has to do with investing. See, mind games, manipulation. I feel mixed messages when I see the Knight of Swords. Now, with this energy, this is mixed messages. Somebody sending mixed signals. So I feel for the feminine here. It's about looking into the future. Do you see yourself with this person? Because I do see change. Change of lifestyle. Relocating. And this opportunity. With friends and family. Maybe even another community. But it has to do with someone introducing people to their friends and family. So there is this opportunity. It does look like an invitation to travel. To go somewhere. But do you see this long term? Do you see yourself with this person, the feminine? Yeah. If you have trust issues with this person, maybe that's what it is. They're going to see someone. Maybe you feel they're manipulating or they're not telling you the truth. Honestly, I feel it's an energy of just straight up needing to just speak the truth. Yeah, and I really feel here, like I say, maybe both of you, you know, the masculine and feminine here, you know, this is someone making up excuses, mixed messages. Maybe you feel like they're telling you a story. I feel they're apprehensive uh, as well. So, like I say, for the feminine, if you feel something is off, it may very well be. So the best way to deal with it is just speak up and speak the truth, that you want the truth. Okay? Yeah, I, I feel, like I say, I feel this is possibly third party or someone just, like I say, sending mixed messages. This is someone, I can tell this person's been hurt. I feel they've dealt with, with someone who wasn't faithful. So, like I say, they're a little detached or they're coming up with some kind of excuse because they don't want to hurt you. Sometimes people will do that. They'll come up with an excuse when they start detaching because they don't want to hurt someone. But I feel this is someone who hasn't detached from somebody who wasn't faithful. Okay? They're trying to. Yeah, see, releasing things that no longer serve. Their worth, their value, self-respect, speaking the truth. This is someone letting go. So they are detaching. They are healing. But it has to do with this person's hopes and dreams. 
Maybe you see this person this way. But yeah, I do think this is someone here. And maybe you feel like they're not faithful because you have trust issues. But to be honest, I, I feel this person up here, this King of Swords. You both may have Taurus in your chart or we have Virgo Capricorn energy here. But we have a power couple. So like I say, it has to do with making a choice, choosing the one. Someone here is trying to make a decision. It has to do with this opportunity and invitation to travel, to meet friends and family. Maybe they got an invitation and you feel like you don't trust this person. Okay. Yeah. Like I say, it could be someone detaching, sending mixed messages. If you don't trust them, like I say, if you feel something's off it, it probably is. So it's best to make a decision. Yeah, you might be worried this person's juggling. But I actually feel this is someone weighing the pros and the cons of a situation. Yeah, they're weighing the pros and the cons here about investing. But a fear of, maybe a little fear of commitment. I'm taking it to the next level. Let's see, who is this King of Pentacles? So you could be the masculine or feminine here. Yeah, somebody with Virgo in their chart, possibly. It doesn't have to be. This is someone soul searching, looking for clues and answers. Yeah, they're feeling a little confused. Things that are hidden has to do with emotional intimacy. A little fear of emotional intimacy, maybe. Yeah, see, mixed messages. Like, I feel it's an energy of, I don't know which one of you is actually detaching. The Empress is open. It's the birth of something new, open to other offers. Maybe you went to visit someone or you went somewhere and you got another opportunity. So I feel really, whatever it is that needs to be said, masculine or feminine, just speak the truth. That's the best way to deal with this. Because like I say... Uh, it could be a misunderstanding or mixed signals, mixed messages. You never know with that energy, you see. Often it's someone who, you know, if you are the one who's detaching the feminine. See, it's about letting go of the outcome. But um, if you feel this person's making up excuses, telling you stories that they're hiding something, it's best to just ask. Yeah, because it is an opportunity. I see it has to do with choosing the one. Somebody has a choice. Maybe between two. Yeah, see it has to do with putting in the effort. Now it could be making up excuses they have to work. But it's an energy of putting in the effort. It has to do with building. And it has to do with being patient, whether this will pay off. They do work a lot. I, I feel this person does work a lot. But if you feel this person's keeping secrets, feminine, okay, or they feel, because I feel they're looking for clues and answers and their life path. This has to do with the life path choice. So I almost feel like one of you's have got Virgo in the chart and the other one's got Taurus cancer. Yeah. But it's an energy of manifesting, mirroring. Neither one of you really trust each other 100%. There's no, I really can see that. Let's have a look at this magician. What's going on here? Yeah, see, this is an energy of someone feeling like they're going to miss an opportunity. It's also a, a possible fear of rejection. Thanks, but no thanks. Yeah, no, someone's rejecting someone here. Um, if there's been an offer, there could have been a rejection where someone's taking this other offer. I actually feel the feminine has another person coming in. I, I feel it's your self-detaching, but the feminine. But if it isn't, it's the other person. It does look like it's the feminine taking lessons learned from the past if you feel something is off. Sometimes when things people two people come together, you know, there's a lot of chemistry at first. It's a lot of fun, a lot of happiness. It can be quite emotionally fulfilling, but often it kind of burns out after a while. Yeah, but I see dating and courting, this person taking action, someone being rejected. Now, it could be this person feeling they're missing opportunities. Yeah, like I say, i oh, got to be honest. I really have to be honest. I feel the masculine might be making up excuses and sending a mixed message or keeping some kind of secret. 
It's a fear of intimacy or fear of taking something to the next level. I do feel they work. I do feel they tell the truth about work. They're building something here. But it's both of you building. It takes two. But when one person's detached, it starts to feel, you know, a little bit off. Yeah, see, not a lot of talking, a little breadcrumbing, making up excuses, a little bit of detached, less communication here. Yeah, there it is. Fast moving, fiery, other opportunities. This is someone who could have other opportunities. So either one of you, in fact, maybe both of you. <laughs> maybe that's why I feel. It's a little mirroring here, but can I say it? If you feel... Yeah, it has to do with mutual energy. See, this is a person weighing the pros and the cons. They're trying to let go of the outcome, you know, by detaching from the outcome. But yeah, if they start making up excuses and telling you a story, yeah. Yeah, we have someone single. See, this is someone who probably is newly single. Maybe they've ended a situation. Someone is stuck. It could be someone keeping you stuck and single. Okay. Watch that if you feel something starting to feel a little off. Yeah, it's an energy of someone who rushes in. See, that's the energy of someone who goes comes in. They're really enthusiastic. There's a lot of chemistry, and then it starts to burn out a little bit. Yeah, it could be someone who's a little overwhelmed, too. And sometimes it's a person who starts to feel a little even emotionally overwhelmed. They're busy. There's too much going on, so they kind of detach a little. So that's all it could be. So can I say, it's, it'll be patient a little bit, but if you need to communicate, communicate truth. Just say what you need to say, okay? No mixed messages, um, no manipulation, no mind games um, to try to figure out what this person's up to. It's just, just ask. Let's have a look at the lovers. Yeah. Can I say, I almost feel like someone's, re you're, you're feeling maybe rejected or you are going to reject somebody because you have another opportunity. See, this is a soulmate connection. It's an energy of friends first. Seeing eye to eye, making sure you're on the same page. It all looks really good. This person dating, it's just dating and courting. But this is this energy of someone who's thinking things through. They may be missing other opportunities because they already feel like they're in a commitment. I feel it's too much too soon. Okay, too much too soon. Feeling overwhelmed. Yeah, it's just high. things happening too fast. Too much information too fast. Yeah, I feel patience could pay off. Yeah, they definitely have feelings. I mean, this is someone definitely emotionally overwhelmed. There's feelings. It may feel too good to be true. That's what often happens. Um, people get emotionally overwhelmed. They feel it's too good to be true. See, being cautious, being careful, careful what they wish for. Yeah, they definitely have feelings. Well, maybe it's yourself detaching the feminine, you know. It could be yourself making up excuses because you don't want to hurt them. Um, Empress usually doesn't, but I'm just, you know, it's just the energy of the birth of something new. So, but it looks too good to be true to this person. It's a, you know, things that they don't know, a little bit of a mystery. Keeping secrets. Yeah, it's pride and ego maybe getting in the way. It has to do with being a good provider. They work hard. But it also has to do with whether a situation will be long term. This is someone who doesn't really know. I got to be honest. They are overwhelmed emotionally. I feel this is someone who also feels maybe they should. I don't really see exploring other options. But like I say, I feel like they have another opportunity coming in. And they're tempted by it. Yeah, a little reminiscing, keeping things simple, a crush. They may have someone crushing on them. I also see if this is a single parent, someone being a single parent. Maybe it's just happening too fast, feeling a little emotionally overwhelmed. Yeah. yeah a lot of reminiscing. I, I feel it has to do with travel, going someplace. 
to do with friends and family. Maybe they didn't invite you. I don't know if it has to do with their children. Somebody's single parent energy, but there's definitely an energy of reminiscing. Someone here is definitely longing for love. It could be someone missing their children too, where they kind of get detached, especially if there's been a breakup, an ending. And this person, you know, they're definitely single. I definitely see them as being single, but they rushed in and then rushed out. So, yeah, you know, saying to just trust your intuition, your inner knowing. Okay, already know the answers you're seeking. I don't feel, I'm not so sure this person's unfaithful. I feel they have trust issues. I feel they had someone who wasn't unfaithful. This is something that's changed this person forever. So, yeah. But you can flip that unfaithful energy. Yeah, I feel just making a de <clears throat> decision. Maybe this person's comparing you to someone else or they're just kind of procrastinating. I definitely feel juggling children, work, things like that. I feel this person's just doing... I think they're just thinking, 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 thinking. And, and I, I feel they have a lot going on in their head. So, like I say, patience paying off here. See? But I'm going to be honest, too, for some of you, it's someone who doesn't want to put all their eggs in one basket. And I do feel if they have moved and relocated, if they if their children live in another town, they have to travel back and forth. Um, maybe they're you know you're hoping for it. You're hoping this person would invite you, the feminine. I feel like you're open to that. But yeah, or if you invited them to introduce to children or to friends or family, they may be made up excuses. Feel it's just overwhelmed emotionally. It's too good to be true. Okay. I really feel. And sometimes it's a person who starts to feel a lot of pressure. This is sometimes the person who comes in and they start to feel pressure. So then they kind of run away for a bit, but it doesn't mean this person won't come back around. They're soul searching, spending a time alone. They're feeling a little confused. So People get that way. So like I say the Empress is often very patient. Kind of look at this. But, you know, the detachment's real. I can see it. See, detaching. Someone trying to get out of their head. Tempering their thoughts. Um, patience. This is also someone who knows the right person will wait till they're ready to share their innermost secrets, their innermost self. And I feel some of that's already been done. But yeah, I mean, whatever it is for cancer, I, I feel just whatever you want to know, just ask. It's the best way. Um, don't try to, you know, send little hints or anything to see if this person tells you what you want to know. Maybe you just want to know how they feel. Feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. Okay, They're definitely going within. They're soul searching their life path. I can see it. But there's a little bit of fear. See, they're focused a lot on their money. Slow and they just want to keep things simple. Slow and steady wins the race. Money, I feel, is their first objective. They like to be a good provider. This person might be worried they can't provide for you. They can't give you what you want right now, especially if they have children in another community or they're a single parent. So I feel it's just a matter of communicating it, letting go of the outcome. Okay. So I do feel this is someone looking at it. It's just too good to be true. That's what I feel their energy is because it's overwhelming. And there's definitely happiness and there's been some emotional fulfillment. I feel like you've spent time with this person. So, yeah, but all of a sudden there's this rejection or this person ignoring you or just dropping hints or whatever it is. It's to me, I'm seeing mixed messages. So, yeah, and it's not always intentional. But there's definitely that fear of being hurt, fear uh, fear of a third party. Yeah, see, this is someone definitely focused on money, that king of pentacles. You see, being a good provider. They're not sure they can provide. They don't have enough to provide. Enough for themselves, maybe their children, but for someone else. Now, the queen of pentacles is often someone financially stable as well, so... Like I say, it's just a matter of communicating these things. It has to do with giving and receiving. 
This is often a person who can be very generous. See, they can be very generous. Maybe it's yourself, the feminine here. Okay, Cancer. Because I do feel there's a masculine Cancer here, but also somebody masculine Pisces with that King of Cups. So, yeah. It's about community, friends and family. Uh, it's about news, getting some kind of good news. And I do think it's something that can work out here. It's just I just feel this is someone who's focused on money. They may not have enough to provide. And I do feel occasionally they have to travel for work. Um, but I do feel there's something to do with children. They are longing for love, there's no doubt. This is somebody who's you know, traveling and you're missing them. The, you know, distance makes the heart grow fonder. But it all has to do with how you feel. If you feel this person isn't giving you enough attention, okay? Or somebody who wants more attention from yourself, if they are a Cancer, whoever's watching this. Because I feel there's definitely going to be some cross-watchers here. <laughs> Mercury retrograde energy. Yeah, see, there we have it. Feminine Cancer, Feminine Pisces, Pis Pisces, either or. So, yeah, but as far as Feminine Cancers, I do feel here with that birth of something new, this opportunity, planting the seed, building a foundation on friendship first. Showing this person you're kind and compassionate, but I do feel if you feel they're not giving you enough attention, you may be thinking of getting it elsewhere. They may be thinking that too. <laughs> There's some vice versa here. Like, I, I feel like you both have water in your chart. Maybe you're both cancers. I don't know. But I feel like you already know the answers you're seeking. I feel they already know the answers they're seeking too. But this is that procrastinating that way in the pros and the cons. I don't know if you're comparing them to someone that you're reminiscing about. Or they're comparing you to someone that they're thinking about a past relationship see that's that comparing i see that all the time and people do that especially when you reminisce and especially during murky retrograde so really it's best to just kind of be patient till this time is over and see where you go because i see a power couple king and queen of pentacles king and queen of cups friends first okay connecting on the emotional level i feel like you want to know if this person's in love with you and vice versa but i don't think the timing is quite right i do think this is someone a little overwhelmed okay overwhelming too much too fast that's what i feel so yeah i don't think this person's intentions is to send mixed messages it's just that confusion so i wish you the very best here i feel it's just saying be patient for a little bit um, be kind and compassionate with your words. Okay, temper your words. I do feel they will temper their words. Yeah. And something's a little off, though. Like I say, it's not quite emotionally fulfilled here. It's, it's almost like one cup got emptied here, you know, where they detach a little. I, I feel it's temporary. Okay, take time. Take care and we'll see you soon.